She had a phenomenal matchup against Nebraska back in 2021 in that national championship matchup. Named the most outstanding player of the tournament. We're underway here in Wisconsin. Just a freshman when she won that most outstanding player. Back to serve for Nebraska, Harper Murray. A little bit different start here for Nebraska in a different rotation as Harper Murray back at the service line. She's been terrific from that line as of late. Forces the overpass and Becca Alec. That's exactly how the last match Nebraska extended into a fifth. Nebraska felt like they had to serve tougher in this matchup to force those overpasses. Wisconsin passed over 60% in system during that first matchup. Nebraska wants to limit that as much as possible. Better pass there. Hamill goes outside, punched over by Franklin, not down. From off the net. Good up there by Gigi. Into the block, Barrett Beeson, as Franklin took an aggressive swing from off the net. Merritt Beeson is going to have to be big defensively up front. Again, Sarah Franklin, one of, if not the best outside in the entire country. Beeson's got to be locked in and taking away that line of approach, just as she did there. Nebraska serving tough here on these first two points. Why Harper Murray has kept the Badgers out of system. Chases that one down, goes behind her one-on-one -on -one down the line. Rodriguez is there. Behind again to Spreck. Out of system, here is Beeson. Off the top of the block, not down. Too tight to the antenna, but wow, what a swing! Outside the antenna, she goes thumb down and puts it in the middle. Such a good save from Franklin up front. This ball outside, she somehow slices it back into the court. No Husker block up front. They thought she might have just been down balling this one. No one goes up. That's an easy kill for Franklin. Someone's got to be up on that. Well, that's what Franklin can do. She can bail you out. Carter Booth with the swing, not down. We'll go back to Smirk again. Eight horse from inside. Spreck swing, and that is wide point for Nebraska. For both the Huskers and Badgers, winning this game in transition is going to be so big. If they can get good defensive touches up at the net to run their good offense, that might be the key to who wins this game tonight. Outside, great angle. Was it down? No, it's just wide. And Nebraska on a 6-1 run to open this up. Wisconsin not finding rhythm in their offense. This ball for Sarah Franklin, so close to the line, just slices it a little bit too far out. Better pass. Hamill back to Spreck. No doubter. There's Hannah. Wisconsin wants to get Anna Smart going as often as possible. That's a matchup that Wisconsin loves. She's 6'9", so she can go up and over the blockers in front of her. Even with Allie Batenhorst, who stands at 6'5", she can go up and over the top. There, she touches 11 too. That's incredible. Incredible. They certainly missed her. She was out for those three matches. They lost two of those. Dropping a match out on the road to Penn State, also on the road to Purdue. Tip by Beeson, timely tip for Merritt. A player that has such a high volleyball IQ, Merritt Beeson does a great job seeing the defense on the other side, seeing where they're set up, and just putting the ball right where they're not. That time, just an easy touch over the block. And now back to serve goes Merritt Beeson, the transfer from Florida in her first year in Lincoln. Tough serve. Backline, got it, what a shot out of system and an even better set. I don't think Sarah Franklin knew she was gonna get set on that ball. She didn't even start her approach until that ball was already set on the floor for this one. Goes out to her, she's not afraid to take a big swing to try to clean up some of that junk. Phenomenal bump set there to Franklin. It goes behind her on the slide. Andy Jackson is done. Here's first look at Deb swinging. And Deb Robinson from that right pin gets the kill. 
both Devin Robinson and Anna Smrek on the right side for Wisconsin can be lethal when they get him going in system. Because of how fast this set is, it's really difficult for that middle to close. That allows seams in the block, and those right sides can go right into it. Horst pounds it off the block and gets the kill from her left pin. Beautiful set from the freshman setter, Bergen Riley. This ball looks like it's going back. At the last second, she switches her shoulders, sends this ball all the way out, resulting in a hole in the block for Batenhorst to hit through. I was impressed Carter Booth stayed with it. Yeah. She was actually at the pin in time. Batenhorst just managed to bounce it off her. In the middle, there is Carter Booth. One key for Wisconsin was getting the middles going as early as possible, establishing them as a threat. A player like Carter Booth has the ability to go up and over. Oftentimes in front on the quick set, she's one on one. She oftentimes wins that matchup. It's 445. That leads the conference. Riley with the bump set outside Harper Murray. It's gonna be an overpass. Jackson slams it down. It goes off of the dig and out. Point for the Huskers. Nebraska's so disciplined on these overpasses. They know exactly where that ball's going. Then they make the decision whether to go up and take a swing at it or just an easy block and push down. Kennedy Orr, now to serve. Tough one, good pass by Franklin. Hustle by Choboy sends it out to Murray into the pin. Well, that's a difficult ball for Harper Murray to hit on the outside. It's coming from way past the court. She can't see the blockers in front of her. She's taking a blind swing at this, trying to track this ball in time. She can't see the block in front of her. She's just going up and trying to take a swing, but there's a lot of time for her to decide how to hit it, where to hit it. It's a difficult ball to put over. MJ Hamill back in to serve. Wisconsin running at 6-2 with Ashburn and Hamill. It'll be Hamill setting now to the back row. Timmy Thomas Ayala, her first swing. She gets the will serve for Nebraska. Good pass by Oshel. Out to Timmy Thomas Ayala, not down. Beeson off the top of the block. Great right up. In the middle. Second touch goes over and out. And the ace. Continue to get Nebraska out of their rhythm. Outside. Trying to keep it alive. Sarah Franklin, no downer. <laughs> Pushes it back to Beeson, the block again, and now. Carter Booth. Interesting when you compare how the middles did the first time these two teams squared off. Neither, neither, neither of the middles, all four of them had a great match as you see. Franklin. Good block touch by the Badgers. Nebraska returns it. Kicked over. Outside, Timmy Thomas Ilara with a kill. You know, we saw that set blowout in that second where Wisconsin had 12 blocks for Nebraska. They made the big plays in big moments. How do you have 44 hitting errors to Wisconsin to 18 and win the match? You only have to win three of the sets. You can get blown out <laughs> the other two. Right. It doesn't even matter. You just have to win by two. Yeah. That's exactly what Nebraska did. Two of those sets only won by two points. That's a great point. Out of the timeout, 
the serving error by Nebraska. Ojal. Tip by Murray. And Ojal diving, trying to keep it alive in front of Sarah Franklin. A bit of a miscommunication on Wisconsin side. Ojo trying to come in and take that ball. Franklin not hearing that cue. That's why it's so important in the backcourt to be as loud as you can and call your other teammates off so you can make that play. Back to serve for Nebraska is Kennedy Orr. Came to the campus in Lincoln as a setter, one of the top setters in the country. What a fantastic teammate has transitioned into a serve specialist. From that right pin, there's Deb Robinson again. Robinson going OTT over the top of the block right in front of her. She has such a high reach. She's explosive and dynamic. She could go up and over that block in front of her. A beautiful set allows her to do that. OTT is better than OUT. Always. Yeah. <laughs> MJ Hamill back in to serve. Tape. Alec kept it up. Left handed pushed over. Out of system swing coming up from Spreck off the block. Now the pick by Beeson and she just tapped it over. A finger touch by Alec. Here is Harper Murray. Murray with the touch and the kill. At the field house in the service error. Good pass. In system. Into the net called on Nebraska. Big block. Crawford in the middle. Badgers with a 3 0 run to even it at 18. And then Alec right back with the kill. Harper Murray with the serve. Franklin off the top of the block and gets the kill. Tough one. Back and forth at the net. Franklin off the top of the block. Back row, the big Murray got it in this battle of the two best of the Big Ten. It's fun. Exactly what we want. Ace, back line, big point for the Badgers. And another 3-0 Badger run. Well, tight to the net. All Merritt could do is punch that over. Net violation called in Nebraska. Error starting to pile up for Nebraska. First, it's a miscommunication error that leads to that ace. We go to timeout and right away, undisciplined block just catches the net on the way down. Badgers three away from taking the first. Another tough serve by CeCe. They run the middle. And goes long. Rodriguez to serve. Set back over, one and up. Great job by Bergen Riley. Sprint finishes. And right now it's the Badgers getting to all the balls. Defense so important in this match, being able to transition them. And when they get this free ball, they know exactly who they're going to. That is Anna Smrek almost every single time. They trust her ability to put down the ball in these situations. And the quick, good dig by Ojal. Franklin got the kill.
She's hitting 400 during conference play. These are numbers that she puts up every night. That's how important she is to this Wisconsin team. Nebraska had an 18-15 lead in this. So first set point into the net. Second set point for the Badgers upcoming. Watch for a lot of back row attacks on Nebraska's side with Beeson and Murray back there. Just over the tape. Here's Franklin. Batenhorst got the kill between the block. Allie Batenhorst stepping up big for this Nebraska team. In a two-hitter rotation, she's probably going to get a lot of sets when they're out of system. Bergen Riley on the run. She knows this ball's going outside. Batenhorst steps up to find the kill. Kelly Sheffield will take a timeout. Set point number three for the Badgers. Another tough serve by Beeson. Rock comes back, opportunity here to reset. Is got it on the line. And who else closes it out but Sarah Franklin. I think the other impressive thing here, Emily, is on the road in Lincoln at the Demandy Center, the Badgers struggled to finish in a couple of sets, including set five. There in that first set, they won on the 10-4 run and absolutely closed it out. Franklin got the kill. Not against Purdue late in that fifth set, yep. though Purdue ended up running off three to take that lead and win the match. This is a Wisconsin team that struggled to close at times. That wasn't the case in set one. Uh-uh. Mary -huh. <laughs> Beeson off the top of the hands and falls in the middle. 1-1. One, one. Sarah Franklin's numbers right now are just ridiculous. She's hitting 4-12, nine kills, and we've seen her take some out-of-system swings. How about the one that was outside the antenna and she found a way to thumb down it and get the kill? So impressive, and that's what she does as an outside, just a crafty shooter. The block goes Murray. Franklin again. Other way, Smrek off the top. Great diving save by Murray. Batenhorst, not down. Terrific defense by the Badgers. One handed up. MJ Hamill kept it alive. And the kill. The defense in the field house, both sides, Harper Murray laying out for one like another libero in the backcourt. Then it's Julia Orgel, Wisconsin's libero. Multiple one-handed ups in just that rally alone. That's what makes these teams so good. Yeah, they have the off offensive pieces to put balls down, but man, defensively, nothing hits the floor. Just so hard to find a weakness on either side of the net for either team. They play defense, they got outstanding pin hitters, they can run the middle, fantastic setters. <laughs> Here's where you can find a weakness in a team where you try to attack and figure you're gonna get some points. Both of these teams just so good all around. Ted Robinson right down the line. This is Robinson's bread and butter shot. Down the line, this is where she's most powerful. If the block gives her this big of a space to sneak this ball through, she'll find a way to do it. And against even the best libero in the entire country, that's a difficult ball to get a touch on. This place is loud. Yeah, I can't hear anything, to be honest. <laughs> it's so loud. 3-2 Badgers. Great look at the UW Fieldhouse here in Madison, Wisconsin. Home to the 2021 National Champions. Ooh, off the top of the block. Batenhorst beat the block. Great shot by Batenhorst. Amazing shot by Allie Batenhorst. She helps on that block earlier, works so hard to get back in transition. There is such a small space for this ball to go through, and she manages just to sneak it right in. Off 
the slide, Robinson. Again, Allie Batenhorst, that's back to back, right between the block for Batenhorst. The court vision from Batenhorst up front to sneak it right between two incredible blockers. There is not much of a space here to hit through. Look at how small this is. She manages a way to just sneak it right inside. We talked about it last match. This is one of the things that Jordan Larson has been working with Batenhorst on is her ability to see before she attacks. Don't be predetermined. That certainly was not as Dev Robinson destroys it. That's what makes a good attacker, specifically really a pin attacker, is ability to see the block in front. And that's what you train all the time, whether it's mats or hands, seeing where the hole is in the block and just finishing that hand right through because that's the shot that'll probably lead to a kill more often. That ended a 3-0 Nebraska run. We're even at four. Merritt Beeson not down. And Allie Batenhorst puts it away. And for Batenhorst, that is kill number six equals the number that Beeson has. Allie Batenhorst really stepping up as this season has gone on, not just from an offensive standpoint. Passing as well has been a staple for that team to be able to plug and play after Lindsey Krause went down earlier this season. Krause on the bench, but not suited up. She has been practicing with the team lately. Not fully, but on the side. Trying hard to get back. They're hoping maybe through the NCAA tournament. Over pass. Peyton Horst again got the kill. Good body control from Peyton Horst to go up because this ball pretty tight on the net. Now two in a row going up, just providing that good stability, good discipline up front to put the ball down very easily. Seven now for Peyton Horst. Thomas Ilara does not clear the tape. Thomas Ilara a little bit struggling to find some of that offensive efficiency, hitting nearly negative 600 in this game. She's got to pick it up as that outside whose responsibility it is to pick up a lot of junk. She had 11 kills last time out against Nebraska. Huskers on another 3-0 run, their second 3-0 run here in the second set. Better pass there by Franklin. In system. That time, Ilara, Timmy Thomas Ilara gets the kill. Thomas Ilara with a much better shot, seeing the block that was in front of her. She didn't take a big rip at it, just going right at those hands to fall inside of Bergen Riley, the setter. Much smarter decision as an outside. Really like the decision by Izzy to go back to her right away after the error. I tried to boost up that confidence yeah. a little bit more, give him another chance. Ace! That's a couple Nebraska has watched fall, and they are painting some corners here in Madison. It can be difficult to track how far that ball is going with how much space is behind the court. It changes the depth perception just a little bit more. On the slide, Jackson is shut down. Cece stares across the net, wow. Acro, Beeson, right at Ojal, good dig. Great one handed up. Here's Batenhorst. Off the side of the block. Now yeah, this is an Allie Batenhorst. Nebraska fans love to see, trying to get her going, and that is now eight kills for Batenhorst, hitting 467. Batenhorst doing an incredible job finding the openings on Wisconsin's side and having the confidence to just swing big. Rainy Choboy now to serve. In the middle. Crawford not down. Back row. Robinson was right there on the touch. From off the net, Robinson. Murray off the block gets the kill. Harper Murray's been quiet. That's just her second kill. Make it third kill for Murray. This is what Murray does, though. She steps up in these big moments. When Nebraska needs a point, they can rely on her to get one. Well, you talked about it in the fifth set, the first time they met. Seven of Nebraska's kills came from Harper Murray on no hitting errors. She was stellar. Absolutely electric in that fifth <laughs> set. Seven for nine, no errors at nearly 800. She loves those big moments. Oh, 
held. Murray with the cover. Beeson off the block. Beeson got the kill out of the big. It's huge for Nebraska to have Beeson as an attacker out of the back row because in these two hitter rotations, when Murray was on the ground, Beeson's the only person on the court that can get this next swing. So if they don't have her back there, they don't have another outlet if that outside does go down. No touch, and that's long point for the Badgers. Swing goes wide, no touch, point Nebraska, Spreck. Spreck way up to put that away. See Spreck's numbers, seven kills, hitting 312. She got on top of that one, wow. Yeah, a little yell across the net from Spreck after the kill. Like I said, they, they, they feel like there's a score to settle here, yeah. right? It's a big revenge match for them. Off the block, but long and point for Nebraska. Sarah Franklin. Alex swing is wide. Nebraska out hitting Wisconsin both in this set and the match, but the Badgers out hit Nebraska on that win in Lincoln. Number one, she's been more on target here. Bump set from Franklin to Dev Robinson. Back row, Harper Murray. <laughs> Hello, I'm Murray. Set out to Beeson. <laughs> Nearly another ace. Does it get over? It does. Robinson off the block and a kill. Back to within one. And right now the Badgers passing. Batenhorst, one of those players who has been known to go off on occasion. Having one of those go-off games right now. A good chase down by Izzy. Tries to bump set it. Sit over on the left hand. On the slide. There is Andy Jackson. Served by Hamill. And an ace for Hamill. Overpass. Little joust. Bar again. What a. Very similar to set one. Nebraska led most of the way. And as they creep toward the end, here come the Badgers. Wide point, Wisconsin. And you mentioned it, four aces for Wisconsin, none for Nebraska, and the number of times that the serving has taken Nebraska out of system has been at least double that. Outside, Harper Murray. Tough serve by Choboy. Harper Murray. Chance to reset. Murray again. Got it. Pulls it out of the net. Hurry off the block, some power there. Pounds it off Sprex's hand. Big point, Becca. 
Maisie Boziger to serve for Nebraska. Point for the Badgers is Alec. Good chicken with the serve, tough one. Bump set, Murray. Blocked! Better pass. Back row. Great dig. Ozil with the up. Right back. Into the net, called in Nebraska. We're even at 22. Again. Got it. 23 22. Better pass. Right down the line of the kill by Harper Murray. Up by Choboy. Wiped it off the block, what's a touch? Ace, Harper Murray. Nebraska's first ace, and now set point. Found the deep corner on a great shot by Sprecht. Sprecht rising that level of play. And Orgel, perfect pass. They're allowed to run Anna Smrek in these situations in system. That ball inside, she goes up over inside the blockers. Izzy Ashburn back to serve. Tough serve from Ashburn. They ran the tandem. Alec goes up first. Batenhorst polishes it off. Beautiful set at a great time. An overload. You have the middle going right next to the outside. Confuses the blockers on the other side. Set point here in the second. The second for Nebraska. Tight to the net. No problem, says Sarah Franklin. And this is an all-out wow. love fest. Every hitter going up, taking high, confident swings. They're finding the floor in such difficult situations. But these hitters, they're so confident every time they go up. That allows them to make plays like that. Spreck serve there. Big horse yes. swipes it off the block. Nebraska keeps it alive. Beeson rolls it over. Opportunity here, out of system again. Decent from that right, pin is long, no touch. Point Badgers. And now upcoming in the second is the second set point for Wisconsin. The Badger crowd will let you know how this goes. His team 24 and 3, 15 and 3 in the conference. Harper Murray starts out set number three, off the block and a kill. And if you're Nebraska, you think back to being on the road at Penn State. The Nittany Lions took the first two. You found a way to win the third and fourth. And there it is. You come back in reverse sweep. She is so good at that shot. Pick that up. Block back. Harper Murray off the top of the block.
Franklin again. She's certainly one of the oh. best and really all around game as well. And you see on the other side with Merritt Beeson, another person who thinks that she might be the best player in the conference as well. And hitting 330 in just oh. conference play alone as an outside who gets right. so much junk in such a majority yeah. of Wisconsin sets. Well, that makes those numbers even more impressive as Carter Booth puts that one down. Carter Booth with four kills. Horst. Off serve. Badgers hitting 312 in the match. Wide on the swing by Batenhorst. <laughs> really good. So impressive. And wow. for a player that played her first two seasons as an outside attacker, yeah. moved to Libero this year. The Badgers struggled when Smrek was out because they shift the lineup. She moves out of the Libero as the ace comes from Nebraska. Another tough serve by Choboy. Timmy Thomas Ayalara coming alive. the hands of the kill by Murray. <laughs> the top of the block and there's Spreck. Serve is long. They have been just that much better at the end of set one and set two. Sprack again over the top of the block, down the line. Oh, what a shot by Beeson. Solo. Franklin out of system, off the net, finds a way. out of the break. Good swing and a kill by Merritt Beeson. Nebraska's done a really good job out of timeouts, nailing the pass right away and finding that first ball side out. The hitters are stepping up knowing that is their chance. They have to come out with some fire. Franklin and Smrek have done much of the damage for the Badgers. Nebraska's scoring has come from Murray, Batenhorst, and Beeson. is long, no touch. Well behind her. Nebraska's making it a point to swing really high on some of these out of system balls, knowing that the big block is gonna be there. But a lot of times those fingertips aren't there because yeah. of how disciplined Wisconsin has been, which is forcing Nebraska to make a lot of hitting errors out of bounds. Merritt Beeson again. From the right side, Beeson picks up her 11th kill. That equals the number of Peyton Horse. Harper Murray still leads the way with 14. And now back to serve is Merritt Beeson. You know, something else we haven't seen is we haven't seen Wisconsin in the net tonight. That was the number one thing Kelly Sheffield said before this game. I said, what do you want to see from your team that you didn't see? He said, I want us to stay out of the net. <laughs> it wasn't just the match point. It was a few other times in advance of that way they were in the net a few times that led to kind of that focus for the Badgers. Yeah, a lot of that is just discipline blocking, especially in these massive 
rivalry games that are so hyped up, you yeah. want to get a little bit aggressive up front, but they've been so disciplined tonight staying out of the net. Was there a touch? Point Nebraska, no touch. Harper Murray looked like she wanted to take a yeah. swing on Tried that to, ball. Yeah. Ojean with the service there, and now back to serve for Nebraska is Laney Chilborn. <laughs> Tough one for Chilboy. Pulled out of the net, the tip. What a tip by CeCe. Such a high IQ play by Crawford, identifying one blocker up. This ball doesn't go either side because you know the off blockers are gonna be there. So right behind the block is the smarter shot, just right into the middle of the court where there is no defender in sight. First kill of the match for Crawford. She's been big at the net, couple of blocks. Five aces now for the Badgers. And a five-point lead at 17-12 here in the third. Another tough pass. Off the block. Leads to the point by Spreck. And right now, the Badgers serving, and it has been this way throughout the match, really tough for Nebraska to handle. Wisconsin is making it so difficult for Nebraska to stay in system. And for a team that is in system at some of the highest clips in the country, that is no small feat for Wisconsin, who is putting bullets in from the end line. All right, that might have been the funniest shot I've seen all night. Did you <laughs> see the hood go over the head? I thought, oh, oh maybe you go back to the Aints days and have maybe a paper sack or something. I don't know. Rolled over, what a shot! And right now, the Badgers running away with set number three. 4 0 run, they lead at 19 12. Huskers lead the nation in opponent hitting percentage at 134, but this outside battery of the Badgers has been fantastic. And Timmy Thomas Ayalara just continues the run for Wisconsin. Thomas Ilara has stepped up massively for this team. When she's up front, she knows she's going to get a lot of jump balls that she has to manage better. She didn't do it in set one, but she's done it here in set two and set three. Maggie Mendelson into the match for the first time now for Nebraska. Mendelson, the sophomore out of Ogden, Utah. Ojal with the bump set, Timmy Thomas out of again and again. She delivers. Thomas Ilara stepping up so massively for this team. It's so difficult when you're in a hole like that to climb out of it. She has done it beautifully, and she looks as confident as we've seen her. It is a 6-0 Badger run. On the slide, Mendelssohn got the kill. How about the confidence that Bergen Riley has to set Mendelssohn on that play? Yeah. She immediately checks into the game. Sometimes players do not get set when they check in late in a set. Maybe you don't think they're warm. Yeah. Mendelssohn, beautiful swing. 21-13 here in the third. Bosiger back to serve for the Huskers. Good pass, run the middle, Smrek in this rotation in the middle for the Badgers. And swing long, no touch. Point, Wisconsin. Wisconsin's block just so big, forcing Nebraska to hit some of these balls out because they're low, disciplined. They're a big wall up front. Badgers right now, Emily, they are hitting on all cylinders. They're serving well, passing well. Outsides are terminating. Out of system, they're getting kills. This is an impressive performance. It's one of the most complete performances that we've seen from Wisconsin this entire season. 
as Nebraska's Bergen Riley puts that one down. This is what Wisconsin needed to do coming into this game. Yeah. They are fighting for their hosting lives right now, trying to get one of four top seeds. They needed to turn the selection committee's head tonight. What they've done is they've shown them they can not only hang with the best teams yeah. in the country, they can potentially beat them. Yeah, I believe this win here, if it holds and Wisconsin can hang on, secures the Badgers' top seed. Nebraska likely has that already locked up given their body of work as that swing is long from Anna Smrek. Yeah, despite what happens tonight for Nebraska, they are holding on to that yeah. one seed. Yeah. Undefeated, all the teams under them have at least three losses on the season. Yeah. So even if they lost tonight against Wisconsin, say they even lost tomorrow night against Minnesota, which is unlikely for this team, yeah. but they still would probably hold on to that number one overall spot. Push back, Smack pushes it over. Harper Murray, blocked. Smack and Crawford, double up. That'll send Crawford back to the service line. And Nebraska's had trouble with her all night long. Rolled into the middle. Good opportunity. All kinds of options. It's Sprint. Into the block. Outside, Franklin. Got it. Seventeen kills for Sarah Franklin. Match point to end Nebraska's unbeaten season. Coming up for Wisconsin. Second match point upcoming.